She's here. She's here. She's here. She's actually here in person. My heart is beating so fast. I... No. No. Darn it. Not again. Why does this always happen every time I feel something? Ugh. Still, she's here and I haven't seen her in two years. I haven't been allowed to see her. Does she even remember I go to the school? I'm really on my own. No parent? No one to tell me what to do? Hmm. Well, I just set up my room and there's two hours until the first event of orientation? <laughs> What's the craziest, most adult thing I can do right now? in there. Okay, I've respected your privacy by knocking, but I'm coming in anyway. App, sweetie! Oh, you're asleep. <laughs> Wake up! Ah! ah so sorry, I didn't mean to scare you too much. Luca? What do you mean you didn't mean to? Girl, do you, do you know how loud you get? Hmm, I guess I don't think about it, really. Just sounds like normal little me. <laughs> That's a big sound for you to be calling yourself little. I heard that. Wow! Now, I know they told you to settle in for orientation, but you settled in. You do realize you're only going to be here for a week, right? I mean, yeah, but, like, I wanted to get a feel for what it would be like for me to be on my own. Oh, I didn't mean to embarrass you. I think it's cute you're being all extra. <laughs> what are you doing here, by the way? Is Caitlin with you? I thought you guys were still in class. One, Caitlin isn't with me right now because she's getting out of her class, which brings me to point numero dos. College doesn't work like high school. <laughs> it doesn't? Nope. Classes are at different times depending on your schedule. Like right now, I happen to have an hour before my next class, which will be starting soon. So, I wanted to drop by and greet you with a gift. <coughs> Coffee! Ugh. Oh, come on. It's perfect for you. You just woke up. You're probably exhausted from packing. This is a perfect pick-me-up. Luca, I'm sorry, but coffee tastes horrible. I kind of figured you'd say that, so... I took the liberty to mix you a super sweet coffee, just for you. How did I know you'd be here? Eep. Luca, let her get settled in by herself. But, but we can't just throw her out alone. She needs to know the joy of coffee. Uh, no I don't. You stay out of this, Missy. Luca, we said we were going to meet up with her after her first day. But coffee! She needs to know the joys of it if she wants to survive college. Huh. Now that you mention it, yeah, if you should try some. What? No, take Luca and her coffee with you, remember? You were saying something about letting me do this on my own? Hey, that's right. Luca, stop distracting me by being adorable. <laughs> All right, fine. Look, I'm going to leave the coffee right here. Af, please, try it. It will put my mind at ease knowing it might help you. And Caitlin, I'll leave her alone. If... You walk me to class. Oh, uh, yeah, deal. Half drink your coffee. Okay, moms! Sheesh. Now can I please be alone so I can not drink the coffee? Deal. We'll see you later, Af. Good luck at all the orientation events. Ugh, my girlfriend. 
what am I gonna do with her? See ya. Good luck. <laughs> later. <sighs> she's going to ask me later how the coffee was, and she's gonna know. She'll just know if I've tried it or not. <sighs> All right, here goes nothing. Ugh, gross! Ugh, it feels like vanilla cookie and coffee form. I'm never drinking this again. Ugh. All right. Jennifer, was it? Yep, but you can call me Jenny. Jenny, right. Thanks for taking the time before to greet everyone. Okay, so you are team leader of your group of students. Given that, the school wants all team leaders to be close to their group as much as possible. Well, that's gonna be kinda hard seeing as this is my dorm room and it's, you know, far from the freshman dorms. <laughs> true, true. Which is why you should let them know where they can find you. Maybe give them your contact number. Something just to let them know they're not alone. Your job is to comfort them, hang out with them, and make sure that they're taken care of. Of course! Um, in that case, if someone wanted to volunteer to help alongside me... You can have one assistant as long as you let us know, but they won't get excused from classes like you do. Awesome! Aaron wanted to help so much, hopefully I can talk him into participating. That will open him up for sure! Either way, glad to have you on board for this. Make sure that you wear this shirt when on duty. Got it. Whoa, that's the first time I've seen him out in the halls. Maybe he's sick. Huh? What do you mean? Sorry, I shouldn't speak of him like that. I'm sure he has his reasons. Wait, what are you saying? <sighs> I should keep my big mouth shut. Understand that I didn't mean any disrespect towards the guy. It's just he's been living in this building, and that's the first time I've seen him walking up to his room at this time. You're telling me Aaron has been in the same building as me this entire year, and I had no idea about it? Are you okay? You seem pretty upset about this. No, uh, no I, I mean, I, I'm fine. It's just he's in a few of my classes, and, uh, well, you think I would have noticed. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm sure a lot of people don't know about him living up on the top floor alone. Huh? What do you mean? I mean, no, I, sh I shouldn't talk about this. Doesn't he have a roommate? Okay, you really are asking the hard questions, so I'll level with you. I haven't been able to talk to anyone about this since I'm the only RA in the building, but it's been on my mind, you know? This stays strictly between you and me, got it? Promise. All right, I'm transferring out anyway, so this won't reflect on me. So, Aaron, right? He lives on the top floor of this building. Alone. No roommate, no one. He, he has the whole floor to himself? The floor isn't as big as you'd think. It's much smaller, but yeah, he's got the top floor to himself. Honestly, this is between you and me, but he's an odd one. I've been the resident assistant for this building for two years, and not once have I seen him really socialize. Also, the Dean specifically told us not to let people up there, so I think he's got issues or something. I... I see. Anyway, you should get settled in. Your first event is gonna be in a few minutes. Good luck to ya. Let me know if you have any questions. See ya, Jenny. Thank you! Uh, I... I can't believe this! I'm such a stupid idiot! How did I not know he was up there? He must be that secluded. No one must have known aside from that RA. N no! Bad Jenny! I was just told not to. B but he's alone up there, which means I'd be alone with him if I... No! Bad! You don't even know him, Jenny! Besides, I have a job to do right now. Which I'm gonna be late for if I don't gather everyone together right now! First of 
event! Please head outside! Hi! It's time for our first event! Please head outside! Hey! I'm coming in! Huh, that is actually good. It didn't taste as bad as I th ah, This is terrible, Luca! Why are you back? I... Uh, uh, oh! Jenny! Hi! It's time for our first event! Please head outside! Your place looks nice. Uh, you know you're only gonna be here for a week, right? Yes. Good call. Now, please meet outside. <sighs> I thought that was Luca for a second. I don't want her to know that I thought the coffee was good. <laughs> Kawaii-chan! Ah, F. Nelson Pie! You're here! I wasn't sure if you were coming! Yep, I arrived super early, so I spent the morning and afternoon sleeping! I'm just glad to see a familiar face, and... Tara? You're here too? <laughs> yup. <gasps> hey, Kawaii-chan. Hey, Tara. <laughs> this is perfect. We can all hang together. I know you guys didn't talk a lot in high school, but I think you guys would make good friends. I'm down. For sure. All right. If I can get your attention, everyone please sit in a circle. Let's sit together. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. So. Oh. Sorry. Oh, oh, no worries. Oh, cute wolf stockings. <laughs> Thanks. Welcome, everyone. By now, you've all met me, but I'm going to introduce myself again. I'm Jennifer, or Jenny, and I'm going to be your team leader, meaning I'm going to lead you guys in activities this week to get you involved in the school and college life here at Falcon Claw University. Today is day one, and we're going to do introductions. So who wants to go first? Cold feet, huh? No problem. We'll just go in order then. Starting from this side over here. Give me your name and your favorite thing to do. Go! I don't want to go. Wait, what? Seriously, you're here. Are you as blind as you are, Dense? Because that would make sense. Hey, that rhymed! Shut up, idiot. <laughs> hey now, that's not a nice way to talk to a- Don't call her that, you- <sighs> Why do you have to be here at this school? Uh, she's there. Because my other brothers are here too, stupid. Why you... Okay, this is Zane, everyone! Yay! Hey! I didn't even get to talk about my favorite... Next person! I'm Diana. I enjoy playing video games. Sup, everyone? I'm Hank. I enjoy, um, a lot of things. Yeah! I'm, uh, Peter. Uh, I also enjoy video games. Hi, I'm Tara. I enjoy playing musical instruments, and my favorite is the harp. I'm Afmel, and I, uh, I like writing and drawing. I'm Kawaii Chan, and I enjoy baking sweets. <laughs> I'm Antonio, and I enjoy baking too. More so traditional dishes. Looks like we have quite the group here. Now, I know you guys have so much more to each of you than one thing. After all, people are more complicated. Now, to break the tension, we're going to play... Musical chairs! Huh? 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 We're not going to do anything too crazy today, so I thought playing a game would be nice. Let me get us set up and then we can begin. Here we go!
<laughs> That's cheating! She didn't say we couldn't do that. I mean, technically, I didn't specify rules. I'm sorry. <laughs> Last round! Ooh, sitting on a chair. Yeah, do it. Hey! I mean, it's fair, right? Antonio is the winner! Here you go! A gift card to the cafe on campus. All right, guys, that's all for today. The rest of the day is just hanging out, getting settled in, and hanging with your group for a bit. Tomorrow we'll meet again. You're all dismissed. She's coming this way! I should uh, just keep it cool. <laughs> that was so much fun! I haven't played music of chairs in ages! It was like a battle. You have no idea how much I wanted to take that chair and smack it upside Zane's stupid face! <laughs> I'd stop you, but he deserves it. She didn't see me, I guess. I mean, yeah, she was busy with her friends. I really should have tried to stand out more. Plus, she hasn't seen me in years, so she doesn't know what I look like these days. Uh, hey there! Uh. Uh, uh, sorry to startle you again, uh, but I couldn't help but notice you were looking at our group. I was wondering if maybe you had considered helping me with my group? Your... <gasps> he spoke to me? That's a start. Don't screw this up, Jenny! I mean, I need help, and you wanted to, so... Uh... Hey, Jenny! Ugh! No! Not now! Go away, please! I just got Aaron to talk to me! That's your voice! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to bother you, Jenny, but I was wondering, where is the cafe on campus? I was thinking of going there in the morning. Oh, um, it's difficult to explain! Let me finish getting inside, and I'll give you directions later, okay? <laughs> sure. By the way, do you need any help cleaning up? Come on, Eric, just say something! At least look at her! No thanks, I'm fine! <laughs> Alright, see you soon! Phew, she's gone! Now, where were we? Huh? Is he blushing? I'm so dumb, I should have said something! She didn't even recognize me. I mean, of course she wouldn't. Not with this thing on. W wait Aaron! Darn it! I was so close to get him to actually talk to me! <sighs> oh well, taking care of those students is my job after all. But still, I did realize he was looking at that girl. If I'm going to get close to Aaron, I need to know why he's staring at her like that. M maybe she can help me get closer to him. <laughs> Don't worry, my sweet, shy, mysterious boy. I'll bring you out of your shell yet.